Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, community arts centres will come under the spotlight during a three-day international community arts centres conference titled Shugu Mamzanzi, taking place in Benoni from the 22nd to the 24th of March. Delegates of the Irish, Flemish, French and South African community arts centres will meet under uh, one roof to discuss, amongst other issues, the critical challenges and innovative solutions facing these centres. Now, let's tell us more about Shugu Mamzanzi. We're joined by the co-founders of Sibigwa Arts Centre, Phyllis Klotz and Small Ndaba, who are in fact the hosts of uh, the conference. Good morning. Welcome to Winning Now. Phyllis, I, I need to start with you. I mean, what in your opinion is, why do we, why society does it need community art centres? Well, uh, that's a long question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a long answer. The short answer. All right, Phyllis, I'm going to pause you for a little while. I'm going to ask you, small number two, you know, give us uh, that, uh, your definition of, you know, why do societies need uh, art centers while we're trying to sort out uh, Phyllis's uh, mic there? Well, uh, we've got uh, many challenges in our communities. And uh, one other thing that uh, an art center becomes, you know, uh, something that can bring awareness to the problems that uh, the communities are, uh, uh, sort of uh, are in. For instance, uh, you find that uh, this, uh, we once did a play, for instance, about teenage pregnancy mm. because of uh, the situation, you know, it was during the riots and all that. So kids forgot about uh, looking after themselves because they were looking into forward to freedom and all that. Mm. But then we had to remind people by doing this play, take it back to them, look at, the, at themselves again like a mirror and stop you know, uh, uh, this uh, problem of getting pregnant and so forth. So we become a watch, we become an eye watch and try to remind people of the things that are going wrong. For instance, we've got uh, a xenophobia right away now. And how do we deal with that? It's not only a question of just uh, taking the police to arrest people. It's a question of letting people understand, let them get the positive side of it rather yeah. than just the negative that, it, you know, so that's the role that uh, uh, mm. community centers, uh, art centers play. Yeah. yeah. All right, Phyllis, let's talk about this uh, International Community Art Centers Conference. What is it? Well, uh, we went into partnership with the Department of Arts and Culture, mm -hmm. and we put in a bid to the EU to host this conference because, as you see or heard, the conference is called Shikuma Mzanzi, and we want to shake up the whole community arts center sector. Mm -hmm. It's sleeping. Um, it doesn't have enough support from government. We want to bring it into the forefront. So that's why we're having this festival. Mm -hmm. Also, fortunately for us, at the same time, the new white paper on arts and culture is being presented to Parliament so we can have an input or look at that and try and implement some of the policies in the white paper. It's very important that we start forefronting community arts. We talk of social cohesion. Uh, research has proven that those communities that have strong community arts centers are socially cohesive. Yeah. Uh, also access to the arts. Mm -hmm. It's very important that we all have access to the arts and creativity. All right. Small, let's talk about the, these, these countries that are part of this. I mean, uh, it's the Irish, the Flemish and the French. What do they all have in common? Why invite these countries? Well, first of all, I would say... Um, in Zulu, there's a saying that in uh, meaning mm. that no man is an island. It means that you've got to consult other people who are doing the same kind of work in order to succeed in life. Right. So you will find that we learn a lot, and they learn a lot from us as well. And uh, that exchange really uh, makes the standard to, to come up rather than go drop, because mm. it's a challenge now. If, for instance, our kids can uh, mix with their kids and find that, wow, we are behind on these issues. Let's yeah. try. And then it motivates them to, to move forward. So it's very imperative that we should try to, you know, compare between the two, I mean, the three uh, 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 countries. Where are they doing best? And take it from there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Phyllis, um, take us through the break it down for us. What's going to happen from the 22nd to the 24th? Well, uh, on the 22nd, obviously, in the morning, there's a, 
official welcome by all the EU, uh, by our countries, like the MEC for Arts and Culture in Gauteng, welcoming people. Uh, then members of the EU countries, representatives, will welcome people. And then the keynote address will be given by the DDG of of DAC, Monica Newton, and um, the whole, the rest of the conference, conference is about looking at um, our situation mm -hmm. and having discussions with our international guests. What is their best practice? What is our best practice? Yeah. How can we come up with solutions and ideas to mm -hmm. implement this new policy, which we hope will be passed pretty soon because we need to put the arts community arts sector in the public eye and make people aware of what how it can service them mm. you know mm. uh, if you don't have it you don't know what it can do so we need to show people that this is something that is necessary in your life B because you don't have it doesn't mean it's not necessary all right, let's uh, small talk about the dates again, or days, and where exactly is the conference happening? Uh, the conference will start on the 22nd of March until the 24th at Sibiko Art Centre in Benoni. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, co-founders of Sibiko Art Centre, Phyllis Klotz and uh, Small Nda, were speaking to us about the International Art uh, Community Arts Centre's conference titled Shuguma Mzante, taking place in Benoni from the 22nd to the 24th uh, of March. The conference will see a dialogue between Irish, Flemish, French and South African community arts centres. All right. Let's take a quick ad break. We're back after this. Stay with us.